Uh, Ryan, future watch, looking at a couple players, starting with Alex Turcotte. Yeah, so the uh, draft combine was last week. I was there with uh, Stephen Ellis and producer Stephen Ellis. Producer Stephen, who's Ellis. done a much better job in the second half of the podcast. Very here. true. Really gotten his game back on yeah. track. Just here. like the Blues. He's like the same Blues, Blues, Blues of podcast producer. Still did manage to get me a glass of water without something floating in it. Yeah, but, but still, you, but you're forgiven. It's just so, love. It's love that's floating in there. That's right. <laughs> So anyway, so Alex Turcott is a name that has been quite buzzed about in uh, the past month or so. Plays for the U.S. NTDP, uh, obviously overshadowed a little bit by Jack Hughes, his teammate, and to a lesser extent Cole Caulfield, uh, because everybody loves the goal-scoring daring do of the five foot seven and a quarter, according to the official draft combine uh, height and weight. And a, chi- a child would say that, like Cole Caulfield, five foot seven and a quarter. And a quarter. <laughs> That's what he looks like. It's official. <laughs> yes. Um, so Turcott missed a lot of time this year. He had a hip injury and then a. Apparently he also had mono, um, so his 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 games were limited. But when he was playing, he was quite good. And this kid has just an amazing motor. He's a great skater. Uh, his NHL pedigree. His dad is Alfie Turcott, and uh, apparently Turcott is just a fierce competitor. Mm-hmm. You know, like all the NCDP kids were talking about. You know, no matter what they do, if it's in practice, if they're playing video games, like Turcott has to win. That's just like his. His burning desire. And it sounds like a lot of teams were very impressed by this. And talking to some GMs and some folks at the Combine, it really looks like that third overall pick that Chicago has might be Turcotte, might be Bowen Byram, the defenseman from the Vancouver Giants. But Turcotte is is definitely a prime candidate for the Blackhawks. We'll see how that unfolds. Uh, but that's kind of the the buzz there. He ended off the year strong, nine points in seven games at the World Under 18s. Um, another player who got off to, or who ended his year real strong was Morgan Geeky um, of the Charlotte Checkers. They just won the Calder Cup in the AHL. Uh, of course, they are the Carolina Hurricanes farm team. Morgan Geeky, a player who you know was originally passed over in the draft, and uh, then Carolina got him out of Tri City in the WHL. Really hardworking kid, good size. He had 18 points in 19 playoff games this year, and uh, you know this was his first year of pro. So I think you know on a team that had some bigger names, you know Martin Nettish was a, a first rounder with Carolina, and so were Hayden Fleury and Jake Bean. Is Morgan Geeky, who was tied for second in team scoring hmm. behind Andrew Podolarski, uh, who they got as a college free agent. Uh, so he, he's obviously a bit older. But uh, I was very impressed when I saw Geeky live. And uh, just throughout the AHL playoffs, he was very good for the Checkers, who are now world farm champs. What's a, what's a timeline on him? You know what? I, I wonder if he'll at least get a crack at the roster next fall like I I think you have to you got to give him a chance at main camp and see what he can do he's the type of player that can fit up and down your lineup and you know I saw him at Traverse City last summer with Carolina he was on a line with Stelia Mateos uh, from the Brandon Weekings and again they weren't the the main draw it was Netish and and Andre Svechnikov but I, I thought the geeky Mateos line was really effective and uh, they, you know, they really drove possession. And they, they were really hard on the four check. So, I, I think Geeky, yeah, you, you at least have to give him a look. And you know, if he goes back to Charlotte, then I, I think he takes on an even more prominent role. But uh, I, I don't think it'll be too long. I guess it depends a bit on what uh, Don Waddell and McCain's do in free agency this summer. 